Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. This is a quick tutorial showing you what layer masks are in Photoshop and how you can use them in your workflow. To begin with, we have this image in front of us with the word hello. We're going to use this as our top layer. Now, choosing the move cursor, we're going to hold our left mouse button down and we're going to drag this image. We're going to drag this image and we're going to place it onto our bottom layer, which is called good goodbye. So now these are our layers in Photoshop. And just like the layers of a cake, the top layer is the one that you see. It's the one that's visible, unless you make it invisible with this eye here. Now, in Photoshop, we have an eraser tool here. And if we choose it, we can erase the top layer, the layer that's selected, and we can bring through some of the layer below. Now this is great, but unfortunately it's destructive for your workflow because maybe five or 10 minutes down the line, you might be doing different adjustments and you'll realize that you made a mistake when you use the eraser tool, but there's no way of going back. We can go back now because we've only just made the change, but later down the line, it would be impossible to go back. So Photoshop decided to come up with an alternative to this, which is much more, um, well, it's completely non-destructive and every good workflow uses masking to some degree. So what is masking? Well, essentially, masking is a way of making some an area of an image invisible, but you can also unmask it to make it visible again. Let me give you an example. If you, you always must select the main layer that you're going to work on. In this case, it's hello. If you go down to this little square here and click it, you'll see a white square appears next to your layer. This is your layer mask and it's white. And in Photoshop for masking, white means visible, black means invisible. Now, it doesn't seem logical that those two colors are related to each other or related to the idea of invisibility and visibility. So we have to suspend our logic slightly and just go with the flow. So if I choose the paintbrush and these are our colors. This is the foreground color. This is the black background color. Now I'm going to switch those. So I have my paintbrush set to black. Now I'm going to make my paintbrush much smaller because that's huge. If you just give me a moment. Okay. Now, like I said before, black means invisible in masking. So when you're about to mask, you have to select the layer. Um, that you want to mask over and make sure this the layer mask here is selected and not the thumbnail of the image. Now with black selected, we can mask out the top layer. We're making it invisible just like we did with the eraser tool. However, the benefit of this is say in, you know, five or 10 minutes, you've done a lot of adjustment layers and you realize you have to go back. You made a mistake. All you need to do is choose that layer mask again choose your foreground color as white and simply paint over it again. And you'll make that layer visible once more. And that is all layer masking is. It's essentially removing um, parts of an image, but having the option to restore those parts if you want to in the future. The great thing about layer masks is that all of these adjustment layers that we've just created all come with layer masks. So, Whenever we make a change, like a, um, a curves adjustments layer, for example, and we don't want it to affect certain parts of our image, we can just go to black as our foreground and we can just paint that adjustment out. And you'll see here this black line on our thumbnail, that's telling us what the mask looks like. And if we press Alt or Option on a Mac and left mouse button, you can see the mask. You can see what you've just created. And that's it. It's really a simple concept. I know it's difficult to understand at first, this idea that black equals invisible and white equals visible, but it's a very powerful tool and I hope you start to use it more in your workflow. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.